pistachio. Welcome to another episode of Maddie for President. I hope your family had an awesome Independence Day celebration. Ours did. Last week I told you about a recipe that we were going to try uh, when we all got together on Independence Day. And we did try the recipe. So we did a little barbecue, a little grilled corn. And today in this episode of Maddie for President, the weekly video podcast, about Maddie and her big brother Caleb. I'm going to show you how we put that recipe together and uh, the b-roll today is just cooking some barbecue and having some fun as a family so I hope you enjoy it and here we go. So I've got my iPad going and I am just watching uh, in double time the movies that I took and this is my preparation for the famous Jim Munchback smoked ribs. It came out great. I did some things very different in this uh, test than I have in the past. I'm always testing with my barbecue. <clears throat> There's the old Oklahoma Joe uh, smoker, and those ribs have been on there for a little while, so you missed some of the fun part where I just heated up the charcoal and uh, put, a little, put a little wood in the smoker to make some smoke. And there you have me just checking the, uh, so now I guess this is the smoker, the char charcoal heater, that's what that is. And Caleb and Maddie weren't there to help me uh, put this together. So that's, this is just kind of a boring video of me cooking barbecue. Let's see what happens if we fast forward a little bit and Oh, this is a good part. So the corn on the cob, I think I want to put this in regular speed. So I'm watching it in double speed. Let's see if I can change the speed to normal. So there we go. Now we have normal. So this is Lovey preparing the corn for the meal. So we the, the recipe, we went off the rails with the recipe, but this was a really great uh, recipe for corn on the cob, which is the, in the show notes. It was in the show notes last week, too. But this is just how we cook corn on the cob. We learned a long time ago uh, that you can cook corn on the cob inside of the shock. You just throw it in the microwave, and before you do that, you cut the ends off. So Lovey is giving us a little demonstration. Thank you very much, Lovey. She's cutting the ends off of the sweet corn before we throw it into the microwave. And this is the simplest, easiest way to make the most perfect sweet corn. It's so easy, it's unbelievable. And by cutting those ends off like that, it makes the corn super easy to peel. So in a minute, you're going to get to see Maddie and Caleb and Carissa actually peeling this corn. So first it has to go into the microwave. So meanwhile, I'm out in the yard smoking the barbecue and Lovey is being so kind as to prepare the corn, which is part of, it's the main part of the recipe, as you can imagine, for grilled corn on the cob. So one thing I'm doing differently, the recipe called for cooking it on the grill the entire time but I thought, you know, it cooks perfectly in the microwave. Then I can just put it on the grill for a sear, which you'll see in a minute. So those are really beautiful, perfect, sweet corn in July. Uh, even in Texas, we have pretty good sweet corn. It was really good. So here's Lovey. She's now taking it to the cooking device that we have in our kitchen. It's a newfangled thing called a microwave. So she's sticking the corn in the microwave it took two batches i think to cook like eight years of corn now she's pushing the buttons on the microwave and she's hitting the the start button but i wanted you to notice there's a baked potato button on our microwave you may have one on your microwave and it it's like a self timer i don't know how it does it but it knows when the potato is cooked and it works perfectly for corn on the cob just walk away and it cooks and when it's done it's done and it's pretty cool so that's what we're doing now we're watching corn cook in the microwave so that's the corn the second or maybe that's 
the second batch or the first batch. So, meanwhile, back at the grill, uh, oh, this is another, um, this is what I was doing during the time I was cooking the barbecue. So that is my, let me rewind that and show you again. Uh, so I have this problem in my yard. It, uh, it, gets, it gets wet and that's what happened. My yard, because of all the rain, it fills with water. And so this is my yard and this is my brilliant idea. Actually, this may be the worst idea I've ever had in my life. You're about to see Pops drive his gold wing onto the yard there was a purpose to this and there's a reason I made this video and there's a reason that I'm sharing this video it's part of my humility training because this really was the worst idea of the year for me so the idea was to use that big heavy gold wing motorcycle to drive on my wet lawn to put a the beginning of a ditch a ditch that will go all the way to the street as you can see you're looking head on on the motorcycle and the goal was to get that ditch started. I started out with a shovel and a pick and it was a lot of work and I thought this will be easier. And so, as you can see, I am now stuck in the mud with my Goldwing motorcycle. And there's Lovey coming out there to give me a hand while I sit and think and try to figure out what's next. Now, you may be thinking, why in the world would some crazy person drive their gold wing onto their yard? And then why would they share a video to tell about it? Well, that's a good question. I'm not sure I can answer it. Except you gotta understand when you're in the middle of a situation like that, now you can see we're changing channels. There's Miss Maddie. She's getting her hands washed because they're about to do the corn. So this is what was going on at my house on Independence Day. Back and forth, I came in the house to take a break to think about how I was gonna get back to the project with the motorcycle, which was stuck in the yard. I don't know if we'll get all the way back there today to finish that story of the Goldwing motorcycle stuck in the mud in my yard. So here we are back in the kitchen there's beautiful Caleb. He's so excited because he knows he's going to be helping us prepare dinner. The grilled corn on the cob first has to be peeled, and that's what we're about to do. And in any good old-fashioned American family, there's this training process that happens at the kitchen sink, which is washing your hands in order to be ready to prepare food for the family, everybody has to wash their hands. And that's what Caleb and Lovey are doing, and Miss Maddie. And so you're getting to see the beautiful hand washing. So now I'm gonna go back to speed it up. <laughs> Caleb and Maddie get to watch this video all day long on regular speed, but I just wanted you to know that we had some nice B-roll and now we're watching it in double time. So this is Lovey showing Caleb how to peel corn on the cob. It really does peel super easy, as you can see. By cutting the ends off the corn, just just comes apart so easy. There's Carissa. She's uh, helping us peel the corn. It's a family affair. This is a family recipe, and we're all involved in the corn preparation. Caleb really just liked carrying it around and taking bites out of it. I'm telling you this corn is perfectly cooked. It really does not need to go on the grill. One thing I learned in pre preparing the corn this way is that I really stayed on the grill a little too long to get it perfectly cooked. So next time we won't cook it completely in the microwave. But there you go. Maddie is now a champion corn shucker. We had the music going in the background. It was just a wonderful, there's Jamal sitting on the couch. He did not help Jamal, did not help us peel the corn. Uh, we didn't really ask him. It was mostly a video thing. <laughs> because look at that cute guy, Caleb and Maddie, peeling corn with their beautiful mom. I mean, I think us guys should just stay out of the way. So here we go, the corn has now been covered in the goop that was part of the recipe. And I did 
kind of messed that up too because I put some fennel. Excuse me, I put some fennel seeds into the corn, uh, into the mash, mostly butter and salt and seasonings, and you can see the recipe. But you just cover the corn in that stuff, and that's what that stuff is. And then you put it on. I put it on this gas cooking device, which allowed me to put some sm some pellets to give it some smoke so that's what we did and meanwhile the ribs were being just getting the final cook on the grill on the smoker and at this point I added a little sweet baby ray sweet baby ray yeah barbecue sauce it covers a multitude of sins on your barbecue of any kind so that's always part of the process adding a little barbecue sauce Connie and I are trying to stick to keto so Half of the ribs did not get barbecue sauce. We used some keto sauce on those. So the corn, back to the corn. Halfway through the cook, I just regooped it. That's a technical term for applying goop to the corn. And if you're a chef, that's uh, there's another word for it, but I'm not really a chef. I just wanted to get this dark brown sear or crust or whatever you call it on the corn. I thought that would be kind of cool. That was the only thing I was trying to do. So again, you can see that the corn actually turned out turned out great, but it was a little overcooked. <clears throat> so it really needed all of the time that it got on the smoker, like seven minutes. I don't think the corn would have been done if it was raw. It would not have been done. So cooking it in the microwave for half the time, finishing it on the grill, that'll be the way we do it next time. But uh, it came out great. It was fantastic. It, every bit of it got eaten. So there you see it's just sitting on the smoker. That's a great little tool, that little Big Easy. It's a smoker. It's a griller. It's a broaster. Oh, and here comes the, the, the ribs. The ribs are now going into the house. And we should now be getting to the part where we were all waiting for, which is the time when we actually do what I think probably your family did as well, when everything was cooked and prepared, there comes this moment where you actually get to eat it. And so that's where we're gonna be next is in the dining room. So there's the corn, the finished corn on the cob grilled with some beautiful watermelon, coleslaw, and here we go. This should probably not be fast speed, but I'm going to let it go fast. This is double speed you're watching right now. I just, I'm, we're watching this together on my iPad on Vimeo, and I just hit double fast. So Lovey doesn't move that fast with a sharp knife in her hand, typically. <coughs> Excuse me. So that was the barbecue. Now we have the moment of truth. This is where Maddie will taste the corn. And she will tell us whether or not it's good or bad. She's at this point saying, no, thank you. I don't want any corn. It's nasty. But then, out of sweet, loving kindness, she takes another bite. And she gives us basically her version of a thumbs up. Meanwhile, mom, Carissa, is putting corn on her salad. Now, it's time for the barbecue, the taste test. Maddie is tasting the barbecue, as you can see. And then she says these magic words, two magic words that I didn't really want to hear. She said, it's hot. That's what she was saying. It's hot. And you can see what she's doing after she takes a bite of the barbecue. She's drinking tea, taking another bite, and then taking another drink of her tea because she says that it was hot. Well, in reality, there was no cayenne pepper on her rib there was on some other ribs but not on the one she got so there's caleb he had absolutely no problem eating everything on his plate so he knew he could get some candy next we got ready for the swimming pool and there's maddie with with a placard at our family when we barbecue we always have a placard close by uh, here we go now we're getting ready for the pool let's see let me fast forward it more placker uh, so the rest of the video is just uh, well it's it's the rest of the day
our Independence Day. So we enjoyed some wonderful food. I got my motor stuck, motorcycle stuck in the yard. That's coming next week. I'll tell you all about the bad motorcycle accident that I had. Meanwhile, Caleb also had a motorcycle accident and Maddie took a test drive on the motorcycle uh, and that did not come out well. So next week we're going to focus on bad motorcycle accidents and some do some safety training and I will be able to do that. Now that is, as you can tell, watermelon. And Maddie loves watermelon. Caleb loves what and Pops. Everybody loves watermelon. It was a big hit. Now this is just Maddie climbing on Pops and it was painful it was actually somewhat painful but she didn't care and this thing in her mouth is somewhat dangerous and that is a stinky foot and that was the whole conversation we were having because maddie maddie her feet stink and sometimes it's somewhat obnoxious because she thinks it's fun to stick that foot right in your face and then she'll put it right back in her own face and start smelling it. So here we have Maddie and Caleb not just standing on Pops but actually bouncing on Pops. So this was Independence Day. This was a major part of the celebration of independence for Maddie and Caleb. Meanwhile for me it was painful and I survived. Uh, haven't had to go to the doctor yet. Took some aspirin and there was no alcohol in the house, so I was not able to use alcohol as an aid for the pain relief. Just their mom, that's Carissa, she was actually scolding them for jumping on Pops. So you can see some family dynamics going on. And there's Lucy, who is always there, ready to participate and contribute to the family celebration. And she did a great job. She did her part quite nicely this year. And again, now we're about to play a game. We have all of these educational games. And in future episodes of Maddie for President and Caleb for Congress, we're going to be uh, focusing on some really helpful educational games that have really turned out honestly, seriously, in all seriousness. These kids are getting so smart. The other day, uh, Maddie said to Connie, she said, oh my, <laughs> they, they're coming up with new words and new phrases and, and just communicating at a much greater level than I ever expected. That awesome. guy right there, he just turned three and he knows what a P is. P is for pops. And so that's kind of cool. And that is, I'm not sure what that is, but because we're going at fast, you know, double time here. But they were just identifying letters and they wanted me to know that they knew what P was for Pops and C for Caleb and B for Baby and uh, M for Maddie. And I'm trying to remember which others they identified. But obviously the most important letter in the alphabet is P for Pops, which they did a good job on for sure. There's Maddie. That was M for Maddie, and Caleb nailed M for Maddie, and he knows the numbers. Maddie knows her numbers. She picked up a seven the other day and said to Lovey, this is a seven. Can you imagine? She's one. She won't be two until August. So it's just, this is Caleb telling you how old he is. Did you see that? I think that's the European way to do it. This is Carissa preparing a dish of watermelon which now we go to the back outside before we get into the swimming pool where we consume some more watermelon. So this is an epic Independence Day celebration. It's the real, uh, it's the essence really of the American freedom that we celebrate on Independence Day. So I hope you enjoyed this video. You can see there Caleb is trying to steal my flipper which I used to exercise in the swimming pool which I did today and life isn't about waiting for the storm to pass it's about learning to dance in the rain that's what that that's what that big old planter that looks like a coffee cup says and I wanted you to see that because it's really true I think
So now we're writing letters. This is again an educational family show, Maddie for president, Caleb for Congress. We're teaching these young people how to write, how to read, how to communicate, and how to drive motorcycles, which we'll get back to next week. But again, this episode was really kind of a special follow-up episode because I told you uh, when I wished you a happy Independence Day, I told you we were working on a new recipe and that we were going to spend some time together. And so I thought it'd be kind of fun to come back and share our togetherness with you. So I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next week. This is Maddie um, getting her shoes to go somewhere. I think we're going to eat an ice cream cone at McDonald's. So I'll see you next time for Maddie for President, Caleb for Congress, the weekly video podcast available on iTunes and anywhere podcasts are played. Don't forget to check out our uh, YouTube playlist and I'll put a link in the show notes so you can watch the video. And please leave a comment, leave a five-star review in, in iTunes, and we'll give you a shout-out next week. Thanks again. Have a great week. Hope